everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Right now, we're going to be talking about Kunai, who is sorry for not streaming much. Of course, it is not their fault. They are taking a hiatus, a break, whenever they want, and that is their right to do at least we know she's okay and still has some friends in the black company sorry for being away so much i'm thinking of you all right here it says i predict that when newer members performing worse than ever before breaks or extended hiatus like this is gonna happen many will probably still be working their nine to five or focusing on school nidhi sanji primarily goes after younger people and the supplemental income from nidhi sanji won't be enough to justify making niji their main source of income I agree with that. Uh, overall, YouTube is not an amazing source of income uh, if that's all you're doing. That's why people go into, you know, creating merch, creating things like that in order to get some kind of supplement of their income based on, you know, based on things like that. So uh, I, I agree with that people will start doing these types of things more. I think especially TTT, Kunai and Vivi and well, Claude gets a lot of support. But Vivi and Kunai haven't gotten very much support. And Danoth hasn't either. So they might be starting to do that type of stuff too. She ever specified reasons for her absence? Seeing that she's no longer active on her PL suggests that it's something really serious. But I'm just interested in what the official explanation from herself. There wasn't a public announcement yet. She didn't explain anything. It's uh, someone mentioned she did have a hand injury. However, I doubt we ever get an explanation. She's no longer active on her PL. I already kind of debunks the theory of getting her underpaid. I feel like someone else tweeted this. Try, uh, you know, who knows? Um... It's kind of like, of course, there are going to be because of the fact that Kunai is one of those that is part of TTT, which is less uh, supported. It's just like uh, Danoth is less supported by Nidhi Sanji. All those type of uh, places are having issues right now. And um, it is unfortunate because it is all because of Nidhi Sanji. It is all due to the horrible support that Nidhi Sanji puts for their talents. And hopefully she does well. Hopefully she will continue to entertain her community and continue to be a part of the VTuber community because she has not had any negatives that I know of. She is, however, going to be a part of a crab game. Uh, it's going to be a crab game collab, a large crab game collab with like VNU talents, Vispo, EN, Globy, you know, those type of things with Kunai and Vivi. So she is going to be doing something soon. So that is good to know. But, uh, you know, hopefully hope the best for her. And I hope that she's doing well. This here appears to be a failed project of Nidhi Sanji Shanghai Taipei. It was, uh, they were going to be announcing all these VTubers. Some of their designs, like the one on the very far right, I, it, it looks like a meme. But if that was actually going to be her thing, that is hilarious. Tiny head, large body. Definitely hilarious if they were actually going to be doing that. Um, and here we go. Other ones, actually, the, some, of the, some of the designs look really good. And um, it just seemed to just disappear. It's virtual YouTuber fandom, Nidhi Sanji Taipei, Shanghai Taipei here. That's what they were thinking of doing, defunct, li defunct license project. Uh, by the end of March 2019, what Saitana as this remaining member, Shanghai branch had been deprecated and merged with the Taipei branch to form the Ego. So it was, uh, it originally was, uh, these branches were Nidhi Sanji's first presence overseas, referred to as Nidhi Sanji VTuber project. It was created and fully operated by Capsule Incorporated with any color at the time, Ichikata, providing branding and technical support. So they were just technical support. This wasn't something actually uh, heavily related to Nidhi Sanji, kind of like the way um, the Billy Billy uh, collab is doing right now, the Billy Billy collab that they have in, uh, in, in China. Uh, the branches began running from 24th of August, 2018. However, Capsule lost the license for Nidhi Sanji brand, and they abandoned the name on 29th of March 2019, uh, changing the name to V Ego. By the end of February 2020, V Ego had only one active member left, Talency, which finally ceased operations along with her retiring on the 31st of March 2020. I feel bad for every single VTuber involved in there because it looked like the company managing it, which is Capsule, lost interest or lost funding or lost something. And it's never fair when it's the company's fault for what happens. Niji first unknown failure. Um, it sounds like the same sort of partnership Niji has with Virtual Real. It is. It's the one that they have with Billy Billy and Virtual Real. Niji provides branding and support in the way of their name, app, and technical support, while the group itself is actually run by a different company. I would assume the venture didn't go well as Virtual Real did uh, for Niji Sanji. 
So I guess Niji decided to leave the partnership with Capsule and then they had to rebrand. As a commenter below mentioned, I effed up the name and had to have a uh, virtual reel. The correct name, my bad. So used to standard anime proportions, the tiny head woman really throws me off. I'm not sure what they were thinking with that one. That's just weird proportions in general, not just compared to anime style. I remember being taught to draw people at 8 head high, closer to 10, maybe 12. When the actual F is that? Exactly, it's the same one that I focused on. When the actual F is that? New sleep paralysis demon. It's a hilarious thing to look at. It's a hilarious thing to look at, but still. Look at the designs, not surprised it didn't take off. It isn't fair to the companies, to the, to the talents themselves, honestly. Like, this one over here on the far right, it's just a funny thing. But, like, each and every one of them were talents that were probably doing their very best to become something to be interesting to create a community to bring a community together because of incompetence on both Nidhi Sanji's side and uh you know with I guess maybe I don't know I'm, I'm just assuming also Capsule Capsule Corp Capsule Inc whatever kind of sounded like Dragon Ball Z at this point they did not do well unfortunately positive news for everybody positive news for anybody who is struggling with uh either an addiction or trying to you know lower the amount of things you do lower the amount of of you know things you go through and effort you do and all that kind of stuff um when it comes to drinking or smoking or anything you're trying to lower things we have lapless who's going here <clears throat> she is saying things here she says i'm gonna say something amazing but i haven't had a drink in two weeks good to hear with her being so young i'm it's good that she's mindful not forming bad habits it's not even like she drinks too often though like she's not it's not an addiction or anything like that it's just she wants that she wants to have control over these types of things laplace is actually aware of how much drinking changes their personality for the worse and is conscious and responsible enough to avoid drinking too much if only she did the same about her gambling addiction hopefully she starts taking care of that problem too it's starting to get real bad according to what she's been telling us so yeah she has been having more drinking streams than usual lately both on youtube and twitch over the past month one day she spent over six hours doing three separate streams on different platforms one right after another while being completely drunk on pecora's wine having taken eight shots and sung karaoke while cheering for Hololive at the top of her lungs. Didn't even end there apparently. While she had stopped drinking after the last stream, ended on archive because it was on Twitch, she apparently watched YouTube videos while eating gyudon and proceeding to dance at 5 a.m. until finally falling asleep. Needless to say, it's quite an experience witnessing all that go down live. Yeah, so it's she was noticing that maybe things were starting to get a little bit out of control and she took responsibility for herself and she did something like that, which is a... Big step, because not everyone can do that. Not everyone can do that. It's a big step for anybody to do that, especially a big VTuber like Laplace. This is their their whole thing. Everyone you know is saying congratulations, saying it's a good move. This person is saying being able to sleep well without alcohol is good and healthy. You know, people are very, 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 very happy, as I would be as well for her. Very glad that she was able to do this. Want to push out good news. Want to push out this for Laplace Darkness too. And moving on with more lip lapless stuff, she does have her second outfit out. Her outfit looks very incredible. It's very cute. She has, you know, the, she can do fully dark. She's been playing with it. The, the, the bird can do winking as well. She had her bird for a bit. She has herself nice and small. So she's been messing around with it, which is very nice. It's very good to have this. Of course, Nidhi Sanji has new outfits. Hollow Life has new outfits. It really is nice to see a well-rigged outfit, a good, a well-designed outfit everything like that and the actual talent behind the the mask to be enjoying it so much she was eager to show this off her starting stream with a few minutes early having the outfit ready in a silhouette and is revealing it earlier than usual outfit showcases she must really have wanted to show this here's a post to her variations and expressions also bless la plus tummy the youtube stream also somehow she looks even shorter she's tiny i'm getting a mad toa vibes from this really suits her Getting closer to Toa aesthetic, very much closer to, her to an, a Toa aesthetic. Lapchan is too cute. The girl with the giant horns is also cute. She's getting armor upgrades. Her tattoo spells her name wrong with only 2.5s. Uh, Haha, <laughs> whoops. Did you say second? Yes. Here we go. This is all her stuff, you know, with, with the actual everything out there. This is her old style. And here's her playing around with everything on her actual stream. She did the silhouette style. She started out with the silhouette. She did everything with silhouette. First, she showed off her head and she showed off the bird. Then she showed herself small, then big, and then the super chat started rolling in, of course. People saying how, you know, how wonderful it looks. She's got a short hair version. She's got, you know, the very short hair version here. She's got the longer hair version there. She's got different hairstyles. She's got her pigtail hairstyle that still works with it. She got all the hairstyles that still work with it. It's a very, very good look. And I'm very happy that she has that. This is a situation that happened with Kobo in uh, China 
as we know, Hololive has been doing a bit of a move towards China, pivot towards, you know, seeing if China is successful. They're doing it through NOA Talents, a agency, a multi-channel uh, network for China, where the network itself is registered and owned by Chinese and, you know, uh, uh, headquartered there. But Hololive doesn't have to do a headquarter like they did with HoloCN. Doesn't have to do anything crazy. It looks like Sayo's being a part of it and other agencies like Mythic Talent are working with them to get their foothold in China without having to follow the crazy rules that are going on. Here we go. They had, uh, of course, Hololive being Hololive. They're having a Vocaloid uh, style concert, a Miku Expo style concert where they do the 3Ds. They have her dancing. Let's see. I'm going to have it so you can hear maybe a little bit of the sound. I don't want to put it too much because a lot of these things are copywritten. So we'll see. She's a good singer. So that's Kobo. And here we have Kobo with Matsuri on stage. You know, it's just doing the regular stuff. So yeah, they had their moments. They had their stuff. And there we go. Matsuri singing, which is what the fuck? I don't need I don't need that. So yeah, they had their pen lights. They had their pen lights all there. It was all for them. They're having a good time, which is what matters. That's what matters the most out of everything. They had a good time. Looks like they had a, a positive reception. Looks like they still have a lot of fans in China. At the very least, since Billy Billy was promoting them, I guess people wanted to give them an extra chance. I hope, I really truly hope that there is no harassment that follows this, that um, the mainlanders uh, behave, people in West Taiwan behave, and they don't do anything crazy. The bounty hunter in a skin suit for, you know, tomato skin suit wearing, bounty hunter wearing Doki Bird here is going to be at Animathon. It has already sold out. I didn't even get a chance to tweet it out because it apparently sold out in two minutes. WTF, Dragoons. Thank you for the huge support, huge support as always. The highly anticipated Doki Bird VIP meet and greet event is now open. Secure a spot now at animathon.org slash VIP meet and greet. Edmonton Convention Center. So it is definitely going to be full it is gonna be very full uh the second it opened and it sold out people were waiting people were waiting it's gonna be edmonton alberta canada so it's canadian one as well plan your trip volunteer guests uh, events exhibitors that type of thing it's all gonna be there it's gonna be fun it's going to be august 9th through 11th all you know all, always they're all fun stuff it's always fun stuff two minutes is that that's crazy beat that yeah beat that Nidhi sanji i don't think that's ever happened with Nidhi sanji of anything kind of getting that way it's huge showing the uh the growth of doki bird and the love that she has from her community which is the important part the love that she has from her community most important detail before doki can announce it maple leaf forever what a negligible amount of time uh but remember guys she was negligible niji could never sell out nowadays so many w's the sad thing is i totally expect doki actually ends up being sad about this when she absolutely shouldn't be you know i mean i don't think she's gonna be sad about this at all i think this is gonna be another win of course People like myself are going to mark wins as wins, losses as losses. Going to criticize. I criticize any VTuber out there. As myself, I am open to criticism as well. So, yes, I'm going to be reporting this. And yes, I feel that it should be reported. It's a bit of a question, thought, exercise, whatever you want to call it. What are your thoughts if either Doki Bird made Mint, Sayu made a 3D debut like in Hololive? I was wondering if these three made a 3D debut similar to Hololive's. What would you picture if these three made that debut? It would be extremely surprised that Doki isn't already thinking about one, to be honest. Anything she would do for it would be extraordinarily spectacular. I mean, look what she did with her with her new uh, skin suit that she has. She did a whole big, in my opinion, it's a, it's a big, expensive, spectacular that she did. Wouldn't be surprised if she had a TSB and Moon Zeta in it, uh, along with a number of indies as well. The only hurdle I can think of is it would be finding a studio to properly record in. I'm not that it would stop them to be honest i don't think mume will ever be involved doki it will likely be her pl instead what if for doki it's more when also 3d is not a hollow life only thing plenty of corporal indie vtubers are 3d but what they're talking about here in my opinion is what if they do it big a big event like what hollow life is known for doing for the 3ds uh yes the Sanji is the same thing but they don't seem to put as much effort 
as Hololive does. What if it's a big effort, big money type of thing like that? I think it would be amazing. Like I said, more than likely Doki, like what's being said here actually, more than likely being Doki being the first one to do that, more than likely Doki is going to be the one who's going to be pushing stuff like that. So yeah, chances of it are mint, definitely. Yes, she stated in her birthday stream that she puts as hard as she could in EGN management for permission to do a 3D concert, but it was turned down, which was part of the reason why she left. Doki, probably not. She already got a chibi VR chat model, and I think that's all she needs, although we don't know how she is like with money. We all know how she is like with money. She spends a lot of it. Unknown uh, for Sayu. Don't think she has a spare cash to fund that. I think she'd probably really be good with three, 2D models like she did with the one that she just revealed. Yeah, I think she'd prefer to stay in the 2D. Who knows, though? Any of them could do that. This next little story is about Lena Lazar, who is a big internet personality. She's actually a English language VTuber who's pretty big right now. Uh, she, you know, very, very nice drawn, um, actual figure and everything like that. Everything's good. She started on, uh, in, uh, 2021 was her debut date on Twitch. So yeah, she has had a lot of wonderful things. She has, you know, uh, Twitter, the social media, YouTube, Twitch, lanelazar.com. Her Twitter's gone. And that's my whole thing. Her Twitter is gone. Uh, from what it looks like doesn't exist either means it was, uh, disabled. Like she disabled it for, you know, I don't know what happened mental health reasons maybe she said something that she regrets we don't know maybe you know she decided to delete it for the same reasons i don't know i don't have the full story this is just kind of a what the heck is going on because she's still doing her streams she's very popular like i said 174k followers uh lena 97.6 k followers on youtube and uh the server for lena lazar doesn't exist it's it's it's, it's not lena lazar's website is not working i don't know if this is a bigger issue that is popping out there but uh, this is kind of worrying because social media, she was big in social media from what I know. She had at least as many as she did on YouTube on social media and on, on Twitter. And her main site is gone too. I don't know if it's because she didn't pay the domain for it. I don't know if this was something that existed before. But it seems like a weird coincidence that this is happening. The main is me having my tinfoil hat on, but just want to let you guys know about this. I like when small creators create things for the larger community as a whole. Uh, this is X1 Daring. They are a small VTuber who has created a how to be a very successful VTuber tutorial. Hope this helps anyone who wants to become a VTuber too. Things that they have seen uh, that have led to many people having success. Of course, you know, um, take it. <laughs> there we go. A little bit, a little bit. I'm not going to watch all of it, but just a little bit of, of their personality. Very successful VTuber. Remember to read the more VTuber information document in the video description. Anyways, back to the tutorial. Let's get started, shall we? And there we go. It goes through everything. And the document is um, down here that someone else created. A lot of people created this. A lot of people worked on this from what I know. Uh, how to make a VTuber character ref sheet. All these things. All It's basically taking a, a amalgamation of everything. Uh, X1 Daring actually created this. Never mind. Uh, everything here. All the extras. All the stuff. All the people. All the places you can do your models on. Um, I will try to link that in the description as well um, in order for you to see this, you know, take a look at this. If you are starting on the VTuber thing, I'm going to take a look at all these things because I am not beyond learning new things as a VTuber, as a uh, small, tiny, tiny, tiny VTuber. I'm not even at 10K subs yet, so I'm tiny, tiny VTuber. Um, it is always good to see people make these kinds of things, and I always appreciate them. Welcome, everybody, to another VTuber Showcase. We're at, I believe, 24 or 25 today, and we are taking a look at Saki Ian VTuber, uh, Saki Parfait. They are a lovely, lovely eyes, by the way. Holy crap. A really well, really well created uh, VTuber who is doing right now is on his own zero as if we're speaking. They're doing day one of streaming every day until I hit affiliate. He, they're put, doing the affiliate push. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this for them. They are doing an affiliate push. They are doing things that, um, you know, are they're trying to get as much creativity and as much stuff out there as possible. They can about themselves a little bit. They are an engineering college student by day and a parfait cafe owner by night. A variety of YouTuber for streams of gaming, chatting, and enjoying, yeah, just studying, you know, doing studying content work and lurk study work streams as they worked on my engineering degree which is a tough degree to do honestly i i really holy crap join if you want nice lo-fi music with nice chatting on on the side although uh they are spectacularly average at gaming i'm even worse than that i am below average at gaming myself uh i always find the fun in games and play and hope to find enjoyable to watch usually stream with my best friends expect them to see consistently here that's the whole point you get watched because people enjoy your energy and enjoy 
how you portray yourself on there. Right now, they're like I said, they're currently doing Zen at Zone Zero. Thank you, Senzu. Chat appropriate message confirmed. And yeah, they're, they're sending chat appropriate messages. Oh my god! Hi! Oh, I feel like I'm uh, I'm meeting a uh, like a, a pop star. So yeah, I, I do I do get that. I do get that when, when you meet someone that you maybe know or have wanted to talk to in a long time, you, um, you're like, holy crap, and you get those moments. But as well, uh, like I said, I wanted to push this because I like doing the showcases. I like pushing people to new heights, hopefully helping them grow. Uh, because, you know, when I was small, that's what I would have wanted. I would have wanted someone to push me up. And that's what I want to do. Be that positivity that I want to make in the community, that I want to have in the community. Take the example of people like Zentreya and others to do these things. And hopefully, hopefully help them grow a bit. Thank you so much, uh, Saki Parfait, for being a part of this VTuber Showcase. And I hope to see you grow even more every single day. All for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.